Hello and welcome to the Katia basic rendering lesson. In this lesson you'll learn how to set up environments, use lights, cameras, and adjust material properties. Start by opening a product in Katia. In this case, we're going to do the transmission. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because my first step is going to be setting up an environment. I want to use a very large environment for this because the larger the environment, the less likely the reflections will show up very defined on the part. If you have a small environment, you'll have very defined reflections and it can sometimes distract from the part. So I'm going to go over here to the drop down under the environments where you can set up a rectangular a sphere or a cylinder environment. I'd like a cylinder. To make the environment larger, hover the mouse over it till it highlights and then double click. You can adjust the environment by just dragging these spin wheels till it's to the size you'd like. You can also adjust the height in a similar way. Now I want to adjust where it is vertically. So I'm now looking at it in a vertical sense. I re-highlight it. Now I can adjust the position. There we go. The next step after setting up the environment is to select a, an environment background. In this case, open up Applications, Environments, the environment you just set up, then it gives you the options. On the north face, I'm going to add a picture. Right click, go to properties, texture, and then the ellipses. Here I can select where I'd like to find my picture. In this case, I'll do that. Say OK. Now, as you can see, my environment hasn't been applied. That's because down here in the View toolbar, I need to select the material. Now that I've selected material, you can see my background. I'm going to do the same thing on the south side. For the bottom, I'm actually going to create a floor because floors allow you to add different material properties to create a glossy finish. To do this, I'm going to insert a part I had made previously. This part can be found just like in a product by attaching it like this. That big flat plane is my floor. See, it's partially obscuring my part, so I'm going to move it down a little bit using the compass until it's to a point I like, just right about there. Do a quick hide of the planes. And now I'm ready to select the material properties of the floor. Click on the floor, go to the Apply Materials button. This brings up different tabs of different materials you can choose. Construction, fabrics, metals, paints, wood. In this case, I'm going to use Glossy Black. Click, click OK now turned a nice glossy black. Next step, I'm going to go to a top view of my part. Now I'm going to add lighting. From the drop down menu, I'm going to choose directional lighting because it's the simplest and easiest way to set everything up. So by clicking and dragging on the endpoints, you can select where the light comes from 
and where it goes. I'm going to do three lights. There you go. And then I'm going to adjust their height from this side view. There we go. The light intensity can be changed by double clicking on the light, going to lighting, changing intensity. Once that's set, you can adjust the different views like this to a viewpoint you like. And then click on the camera button. This creates a camera from that point. You zoom out, you can now see that a camera has been positioned right from your viewpoint. To view what this camera sees, click on the box, click the view. You are now from that exact camera angle. To get out of that view, click X. Finally, I'm going to set material properties really quick. By selecting a few of the parts, to set multiples, just highlight them all, go to materials, set their material, and then go in and set the other materials in a similar way. Now, by clicking on my viewpoint, click the view, go over here and create shooting. From the shooting, you select your current viewpoint or the camera, select your environment, which lights you'd like to use, how large you'd like it, and where you'd like it saved. In this case, I can click OK. Now that a setting's been set up, I can click on the render shooting tells me what shooting I'd like to render. Press the camera button and then it'll render. And there we go, the rendering's done and it looks pretty good. So that concludes the Katia basic rendering lesson.